What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys my five favorite things inside of Unreal Engine 5. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing you're gonna see when you open up Unreal Engine 5 is we have a completely overhaul reskin interface here. We have the Unreal Engine Project Browser here, which if you look at the left-hand side, we have some pretty cool thumbnails just kind of showcasing what you're getting into from games, from film, video, and live events, which I often use a lot. And if you're familiar with Unreal Engine 4, all these templates are pretty much exactly the same it's just a better interface it looks a lot more cleaner and a lot more sleek so if i close this out and get into actual unreal engine 5 the first thing you see is we have a lot more real estate inside of our viewport and so they pretty much condense everything into these top buttons up top here and we still have like a real outliner in our details panel on the right hand side now, I must admit, whenever I first jumped into Unreal Engine 5, this kind of threw me off a little bit just because I didn't know where everything was navigational wise. And so the cool thing is if you come up the window and if you come down to load layout, we actually have the UE4 classic layout here. So if I click on this, this is exactly what it looks like in Unreal Engine 5, but it still has that nice sleek interface here. So everything is still here on the left hand side under place actors. We have our lights, we have our cinematic stuff. We have the shapes, et cetera, et cetera. And so when I was first starting to navigate around Unreal Engine 5, I immediately made it look like Unreal Engine 4, just until I got a little bit more familiar with it. But once I did start playing around and figuring out where everything was, I kind of do like the way that the original layout is. So I'm going to come back up the window, come down to default editor, and I'm going to stick with this one here. Now this brings me into my next favorite feature, which is the Quixel Bridge integration, which is extremely cool. It's no longer a plugin that we have to download separately. It's all built in the Unreal Engine 5. So if I come over here to content, you'll see right here, it says get content and we can actually open up the marketplace and we can open up Quixel Bridge. So if I open up Quixel Bridge here, it's gonna load it directly inside of Unreal Engine 5 here. So it's gonna take a second to load and I can actually make it full screen. And this is Quixel Bridge right inside of Unreal Engine 5. And so the cool thing about this is we could drag and drop all of our stuff directly into Unreal Engine 5. And you want to make sure that you're signed in in the top right hand corner. The one thing I did notice, it keeps signing me out with every time I close out Unreal Engine 5. So I just have to sign in every time I want to use it. Now that I got myself signed in, if I come over here, back up into the upper right hand corner, you want to make sure that you come under preferences because your library path, you want to make sure that you're picking a drive that can handle a lot of data. Because if you don't have a lot of space and you're using the models with Nanite, some of those models could get quite large. And so you might not want to put this on like an M.2 drive. You might want to have this on a separate drive that has a lot of space on it. And before we get into Nanite, let me come over here to collections. Just kind of show you this interface if you haven't played with it yet. I mean, it's pretty much Quixel Bridge built into Unreal Engine. But the cool thing about it, if you click on it, you notice down here in the lower right hand corner, we no longer have LODs. If you click on it, we have just low quality, medium, high, and then we have Nanite. Which brings me to my next favorite feature in Unreal Engine 5, the Nanite technology. And so if you're not familiar with it, I'll leave the documentation down below for Unreal Engine 5. But in a nutshell, Nanite lets you bring in really high polygon models into Unreal Engine. And with some type of magic, it just runs super efficient. And so if you just click on Nanite, and then download it's going to download it and you can pretty much click and drag it into your scene in which i have this snow embankment already downloaded and so let me bring this down a little bit i'm just going to click and drag it into unreal engine 5 and there we go so now we have our snow embankment inside of unreal engine 5 looks like it selected both of them let me select this one just drag it down and it's just how we used it in Unreal Engine 4. So right from here, you just kind of put it into your scene and just kind of go to town with it. And besides Nanite, the other big thing inside of Unreal Engine 5 everybody's talking about is Luma Technology. So this scene right here I actually built out for a tutorial that I did for School of Motion going over Unreal Engine 5 a lot more in depth. So make sure you check that out. But the reason I want to show you this scene is because I want to kind of show you guys the difference between Lumen and only using ray tracing. So let me click on my reflection box here. I'm going to click G to get rid of all the icons. Then I'm going to come over here to my post process volume that I already have set up. And I'm going to scroll down until I see global illumination, which I have right here. So right now I'm using Lumen, which if you build a brand new scene in Unreal Engine 5, Lumen is already on by default. And so I'm going to put it on ray tracing. 
and right off the bat i mean ray tracing looks cool but only using ray tracing compared to lumen you can see a heck of a difference so this is with lumen you get some really nice reflections here on this box you see some nice shadowing and everything going here with ray tracing you know everything looks good but not as good so i'm going to put it back on lumen and then i'm going to come down to reflections and let me put it on ray trace reflections and you can see on the box right there the big difference it made ray tracing looks good but not as good as the lumen so that's pretty much just a quick overview of what lumen looks like in unreal engine 5 i'm really impressed with it and i'm going to do some deeper dives here on my channel coming up and this is going to bring me to the last thing i like about unreal engine 5 which i noticed right off the bat once i tried out the demo here but if i have unreal open and i have the demonstration open right here the first thing you realize is not only does it work with nvidia but it also works with amd graphics card for the lumen and nanite which i thought was really cool because before with ray tracing as we know it particularly only worked with nvidia but it seems like with lumen it's going to be working with no matter what type of graphics card you have which is a big plus plus. and if i pull up this article that amd posted about a week ago about their partnership with epic games i'll leave a link down below but you can read in further about how amd partnered with unreal engine so that we can actually have better Luma technology with the AMD graphics cards because of course the AMD graphics cards are inside of PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series S and X and so it only made perfect sense that they build Unreal Engine 5 being able to use AMD technology as well. So I know it's been a minute. I've been extremely busy on a couple of TV shows, but I'm back into putting up some more YouTube videos. I've been dabbling with Unreal Engine 5 since it first came out. I didn't want to throw up a video immediately because I wanted to kind of try to understand it a little bit more. So make sure you come back here for more deep dives. I've been experimenting a lot, of course, and so I can't wait to share some of my experiments with you guys. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you can see some more videos that I'm going to be posting. And again, make sure you go to School of Motion to see my a deep dive into Unreal Engine 5. Until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys again. I'll see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.